What's up, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw Skeletor step by step. Skeletor from He-Man. If you ever saw that, uh, I think there was a new series in 2000, I can't remember, not newish, you know, newer. There's from the 80s, right? And they had a new one in like 2000 something. Uh, but I'm gonna draw Skeletor, the main bad guy. It's gonna be step by step, and I'm gonna go over it with, in, with this uh, few pens that I have. It's a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T -T artist pen. It's a thin one, another thin one, and then this. Artist Loft pen, and I'll kind of I'll put that in the description if you need to. But let's get going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of put some lines down in order to some lines down just in pencil and regular pencil, just to kind of get the proportion down. And I'm gonna draw a bit of a circle, like a circle here. It's gonna be really light. You probably can't even see it, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna go right into the, the you know the other stuff immediately. I'm gonna throw a U shape for the shoulders, and I'm gonna draw the arms down. And that's honestly a, almost it. I'm gonna draw a triangle here for that hoodie he wears. Skeletor wears this kind of hoodie. And then draw a straight brow line for where the brow's gonna be, and kind of the nose and the under jaw. But these things are for me, for proportion, and that is it. Um, they're not really anything else other than placeholders so that when you draw something, you won't go off the page. So if you like these tutorials on this channel, like me talking, if you like this subject matter, give me a like so that I'll know what to add more of to this channel. And another thing is, if you have any questions, if you have any comments or you just wanna say hi to me, comment in the comment section below and I will comment, I will reply to every single comment. But just talk to me so I can give you guys what you want. Um, and that's it. Hopefully you're following along, pay attention, and let's get going. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in first with uh, this one, the P.I.T.T. Faber-Castell Artist Pen, and it's gonna be the one with the kind of like pointed pen tip. And I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna start in the middle of the eyes, right here, and this little light framework I put up. I'm gonna start with the eyes, and it's gonna be angry. <laughs> for like another 20 minutes and now it's gone and I can't post anything. Uh, on the right side, go to that, that angry, the top part of the orbital bone, but that angry look, that kind of furrowed brow. Down here, just kind of completing it. The orbital bone is really like a square. So just kind of remember like a square and that'll be fine. I do recommend you get real skulls or pictures of anatomically correct skulls like a medical site and start drawing those to kind of ingrain that into you know your drawing habits then i'm gonna go for the side here and i'm gonna go into the uh cheekbone which is called the zygomatic arch i think the zygomatic arch on animals like that cheekbone area i think it's called uh something else on lizards and i can't remember what it's called <clears throat> i can't remember <laughs> but i used to know i used to know the name of that Sure it's online and everybody's yelling it at me. Down to the tooth cylinder, other side here, other side of the tooth cylinder, and I'm gonna go into the zygomatic arch of the other side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top brow of that uh, kind of arch of the eye, and then the front of the forehead. Uh, now, I'm, uh, also, I'm gonna go into that hoodie he has. The, 
hoodies have kind of like a five point shape. Usually it's that top point, the top point of the hoodie, and then it goes down to the sides of the brow, you know, if you were to draw them as an octagon or something, or as a kind of straight line. And then it goes all the way down to these other points, you know. Uh, it's either five point or six point, depending if it ties toward the bottom. But I'll, t uh, you know, I'll talk about more of that in, as I'm going along here. So the side of the hoodie over here, I'm, I'm looking at one of those points, which is the side of the uh, eyes. Goes up <clears throat> and wraps around. Top of the hoodie, pulling downward. And then uh, right here, uh, it kind of it has a flap that kind of goes back and it kind of droops down. So I'm drawing a line underneath it for the rest of the hoodie that will come soon. <clears throat> Going over here to the teeth area, the uh, upper row of teeth. And it's kind of like finding that teeth line in the bottom first. And then I'm finding the top. I'm drawing the straight lines in there. He doesn't really have sharp teeth or anything like that, at least in this incarnation, in the old school one. It's just a skull. I don't know if he ever had sharp teeth, to be honest. Maybe he had them in the movie, but he didn't even look like a skull in the movie, he looked like an alien. The, 80, the 80s movie. Far side of the jaw. And then his teeth are gonna be separated a little bit, because he, ha he has that kind of cackling. He kind of has that ha ha ha, you know, he's always got that smile thing going on. So his teeth are parted a bit. And I'm gonna catch the side here of the, of the inner jaw. And it's gonna create this negative shape, but I'm not gonna fill it in quite yet. I'm gonna use that with my other marker and you'll see, marker, my other pen slash marker. I'll talk about it in a second. Pulling downward into the front. attention to it and what I'm gonna do before I do that is I'm gonna draw that center kind of chest piece and that's more like more ornamental so that is a circle and then another circle around that that kind of donuts around that oops let's see. I kind of messed up with that line but you can kind of correct mistakes in pen and I will make a whole video on that if you want to talk about it um, let me know if you do want to talk about that subject how do you correct pen mistakes, because you can always kind of weave your way around that.
it's clearly like thick, like maybe like leather or something like that, really thick. And then drawing a circular shape at the end of him, and that's usually meant for either design or you know like buttons on a shirt or I don't know what a button really. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the upper chest. The upper chest kind of sticks out. That's what I mean by these dudes on. So now let's go to the other side. The other side is same thing. We have these same designs, but they're they're uh, kind of a side off view, like a three quarter view. A little armor thing. That armor doesn't do anything. It's more of an ornamental, really. And then the upper deltoid. The bicep is kind of turned that way because of the angle it's at. And you pull down into that area of uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Ah, yeah, into the rest of the arm. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my other pen right here. And actually the first thing I'm gonna do is grab an eraser and erase some of the construction lines. I know you probably can't see it, but I can see it and it bothers me. So I'm gonna do that. Ooh. And so I'm gonna grab this one, it's a little bit thicker. It's the exact same brand and everything, Faber-Castell P-I-T-T Artist Pen Black 199, but it has more of a, kind of a brush tip a little bit to it. It's like a thicker pen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna fill in these dark areas that I left. So for example, in the eye, right, clearly in the, uh, that's gonna be dark in the skull eye. And then in the mouth. I actually forgot to draw the lower teeth, which I gotta do that right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I used to watch He-Man as a kid, it was great. Uh, I, I liked it a lot. It's, it's weird I saw a documentary about it recently, I think it's called, uh, it's on Netflix. It's called uh, How the Toys Made or something like that. 
Uh, I can't remember, but it talks all about the creators. And the thing I was a little bit disappointed at <laughs> in the documentary is that the dudes who created this are kind of fighting over it. I guess there's no clear creator of He-Man and the whole thing, because it was like a team or several guys and several people take credit for it. Um, I think the other thing that disappointed me was how much they didn't really care and they made it purely to sell toys, which is fine. You know, that's a lot of things and doesn't take away from, you know, the ultimate magic of it. I still like it. Um, but they made it purely to make toys and then I think they took it to the store or something like that and they're like, we need a, we need like a comic or something or a series or, you know, they, they kind of just BS, BS the whole thing, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, but it still created something else and, you know, other people have taken it and created cool comics from it and I still like the, the character designs and the property and, yeah, I still like it. So, I'm down. I don't care if it was made on a whim and somebody BS'd it. I like it. Um, I'm going over here with a pen for kind of minor details, little scratches, stuff, uh, just little nicks and scratches I like. I like the look of it. Uh, and then what I'm going to do back with this one is I'm going to put a little bit of dark right here at the base of, let me see the camera, alright, still going. Camera, I'm sorry, the camera. Underneath the base of the hoodie, I'm going to put a little bit of a dark here, because uh, it kind of grounds the drawing and I'm gonna put a little bit of dark on some not too much I'm not gonna make it like I'm not gonna go into every single shadow it's this is about kind of more stylistic drawing as opposed to photorealistic you're stylizing real life which is pretty much what he-man was you know that it was a an exaggeration uh, of re reality or like things based in reality right like he-man's a human there's tigers exist, you know, but tigers are not green and then are giant like that. I mean, they're giant, but I mean, they're not that giant. It's like, it's like a dinosaur, right? What was it? Uh, what was this horse's name? A horse's name. What was this tiger's name? All right. So, going over here on the side as well, kind of around the ribcage. Just drawing some darks, like I said, just to, again, kind of ground, ground the image more. You can throw as much darks as you want in it, and you can give it that really sinister look by putting a lot of shadows. It's, it's up to you, really. Um, but don't overdo it. <laughs> I mean, you could overdo it with the shadows if it, if it matches the mood, right? If it's a darker piece. A lot of these are, you know, the mood, and for, for example, the original He-Man in the 80s, the mood was kind of goofy, you know? Yeah, right? He's got like a crazy voice, and you know, there were some element of danger, but... It was kind of goofy, lighthearted, you know. I think it was more lighthearted. Maybe I'm looking back on that differently, but I thought it was lighthearted. Uh, but yeah. Just throwing in some darks where I can. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have, actually I might throw a, actually a thicker liner on the border here. I do that a lot with other stuff. Just a little bit thicker on the contour. I want it to stand out a little bit more. So while I'm doing this thicker contour, how are you doing? Are you good? Do you like the way the channel's changing? Uh, I'm trying to be more active, I'd be more responsive, and be, really play it to you guys. Uh, I've kind of just been loving the whole drawing thing, so I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna do way more videos than before. So let me know. Uh, there's a new website up for all my stuff. It's easythingstodraw.net. I'm trying to get the .com right now, but we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> but easythingstodraw.net. That is where I'll put that in the description. And also don't forget that there is a free shading ebook. Free shading ebook. And that... So if you never shaded, you don't know much about shading, get that ebook. It's totally free for the moment being, by the way. It might not be free uh, later on just because somebody's telling me to sell it, but I don't want to sell it currently. Currently, I just want it to be this free value thing. And get that right now. I had a lot of good reviews from it. Thank you so much, guys, for saying, you know, for the people that said that. Um, but yeah, you should. So the idea is there's three simple shapes within anything. If you learn to shade these three simple shapes, then you should be able to shade anything in nature. That that should be, it's because everything is made up of simple shapes. Look at this guy. The deltoid's kind of round. 
round, round, like oval egg shape. This is round, right? The centerpiece. Uh, his head, right, started with a round shape. Uh, triangular forms in his eyes, in his nose, uh, right here, the hoodie that, that I was talking about. This octagon type or uh, hexagon shape to the hoodie. Everything is, you, you know, you can literally do that and simplify anything, uh, even a jagged tree, right? Where like the tree's all jagged and weird. You can simplify that down and that makes it easier for you to understand and then easier for you to shade uh, anything. So anyways, get that ebook, it's free, it's in the description. I'm going on too much uh, in general about stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm also gonna put the speed drawing version of this out. So talk to you guys soon.